Okay, here's our bifilar pancake coil. We wound some time ago using this 5mm copper ribbon. And we're just having a uh, revisit on this. Um, at the moment it's being pulsed with a signal generator and we are across one coil, the other coil is open um, and there is the other output there uh, not being used at the moment and we have a 100 ohm CVR there so we're just going in through our positive rail and our negatives going across the uh, 100 ohm resistor and into the uh, one of the windings so we're just using one of the windings and the other one is doing nothing uh, the yellow channel of our scope is measuring the voltage across it and the blue channel is measuring our current through it and like I said that's a 100 ohm resistor so um, we're getting a fairly good size amplitude on that to make our measurements a little more accurate. Now I was just running it through uh, frequency sweeps and I noticed something very odd that you don't see all the time. Um, what we have here on our scope, you know, I've made the numbers nice and big here so we can see them, but um, blue trace is the current, for some reason it's offset um, in the negative. Yellow trace is a voltage and the math trace is a purple one. Um, at the moment the math says we're using 5.4 odd milliwatts, um, which is probably about right. Uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to wind the frequency back to where I found this um, anomaly. Let's see what happens. So um, at the moment we're at 5.18 megahertz. Uh, this is an air core coil, but the capacitance is quite large because we're using the um, flat copper ribbon. Um, that was the whole purpose of winding that coil. But uh, anyway, I'll wind the um, frequency down to the position I found which shows the strongest, um, what would you call it, it's the strongest point of this um, anomaly. So like I said, uh, about 5.7, 5.8 milliwatts is being used at the moment. So I'll crank it down, down further, down further. So now we're 3.481 megahertz. Uh, 20 volts peak, and I know it's dropped down to 8 volts peak to peak because we've gone over um, 1 megahertz, well, which uh, for some reason this thing does. But uh, anyway, I haven't wound it back up. Once you go over 5 megs, it drops down um, in peak to peak voltage. I can wind it back up, but I want to leave it as it is. Because if we look now, we have a minus sign in front of our um, power that we're apparently uh, not using. So it's between uh, 6.8 and 7.4 milliwatts going back into the signal generator, apparently. And um, that is the frequency with this coil where we get the uh, largest, um, we'd almost call that um, a negative resistance. It's acting like a negative resistor. And our waveform is somewhat odd that the math trace. Um, each peak, the peak to peak on the math trace seems to be in between the voltage on the top peak and in between the current on the bottom peak. It 
So we're using an average negative 7 milliwatts of power at the moment. Uh, so I thought I'd just get a video of that and um, for you guys to have a look at. Quite interesting. Not really sure how you can have minus power, but anyway, we do as far as the scope's concerned. Um, we do have a negative resistance effect going on here. Alright, that's all I wanted to show for now. Uh, waiting on a couple of guys to make a few su suggestions and uh, we'll see where we end up from there. But um, well, I've never seen the scope's math measurement go into the negative before. This is the first time. I've never seen it last time but we didn't uh, go hunting like we are now when we were doing the test on this bipillar coil in um, one of the threads on OU.com. Uh, you may have seen my previous videos on this from some six months ago, maybe even longer, where uh, we were doing a frequency sweep uh, on the primary and the secondary, uh, which is just um, coupled by capacitance was driving different LEDs from different output points of this coil. Uh, that was what I started doing tonight while running a frequency sweep um, without any LEDs on. I've got this result. So uh, I thought I'd go looking for it a little closer and there it is. The average power is negative 7 milliwatts. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, We'll see you next video.